Okay, so in this talk, we are going to prove that the Taylor series operator is what's called linear. Now, if you don't know what linear means, that's not an issue. I'll just say explicitly what I mean. What I mean is that the Taylor series of the sum is the sum of the Taylor series. So if f and g both have infinitely different symbol at a point, so you can take the individually, you can take the Taylor series. Then uh, the sum is also infinitely different symbol at the point and the Taylor series uh, of the sum at the point. So these are all, these are at x naught. Okay, the Taylor series of the sum at x naught is the Taylor series of f at x naught plus the Taylor series of g at x naught. Okay, mm -hmm. I didn't write at x naught each place just not to complicate things, but yes, be all Taylor series are at x naught. All Taylor series are at x naught. Now, what do I mean when I say adding two Taylor series? I just mean add them coefficient wise. I mean, for, uh, for each x minus x naught to the k, I just add the coefficient in one Taylor series, the coefficient in the other. The way you add polynomials and power series, the same way. Scalar multiple says if f is infinitely different from x naught and lambda is a real number, then uh, lambda times f is also infinitely different from x naught and its Taylor series is lambda times the Taylor series of f. Okay, now the key ingredient in the proof of this is that differentiation is linear or rather repeated differentiation is linear. So what I mean by that is this, if I have two functions f and g, well it's, it's, it'll be the same two functions f and g which we use here, then the kth derivative of f plus g is the kth derivative of f plus the kth derivative of g and this equality is true wherever the right side makes sense. Okay, so wherever you have a point where both of these exist, then the left side also exists and they're equal. Okay? okay, so how does that help us? Well, first of all, it def definitely, okay, so this tells us that if f and g are infinitely differentiable, so is f plus g, right? So that, that, that covers the first part of it, which just says, yes, the sum is infinitely differentiable. You see that? Explain that. If f and g are infinitely differentiable, why should the sum be infinitely differentiable? Because the differentiation of functions is linear. Yeah, so? So the sum of function, if f and g can be infinitely differentiable, then their sum is different, infinitely differentiable, then the sum of Well, that means the f and g are infinitely differentiable means that they are k times differentiable for every k. Mm -hmm. So for each k, the sum is also k times differentiable at the point. So is f plus g. Okay, good. So we got we got the first part, which is saying yes, f plus g does have a Taylor series. Now I want to actually show that the Taylor series are equal. Okay, and that again will follow from this, but uh, let's see how it follows. So what? Let's just write down the three Taylor series and then check whether they add up correctly. What's the Taylor series of f at x naught? So we, we've, we've settled this part, now we have to show that the Taylor series of the sum is the sum of the Taylor series. So Taylor series of f at x naught is? You want me to say the whole thing? Yeah, the expression. Uh, the you summation. The, sig the sigma notation? Yeah, the summation. You call it summation, not summation. sigma. Okay. Uh, f at k, k equal, yeah. from 0 to infinity. Yeah. f x naught the yeah. case derivative mm -hmm. over k factorial mm -hmm. times x minus k, x minus x naught to the k. Okay, uh, the Taylor series for g at x naught, what's that? That would just replace the f with g. And uh, what is the Taylor series of f plus g at x naught? And then we have to check whether when you add these two you get that, right? But let's just write down what will it be. Well, you just replace f by f plus g. So what will you get? You get summation k mm -hmm. equals 0 to infinity. Replace the function. So you get f plus g k x naught over k factorial x minus x naught to the k. Okay, good. Uh, let's call this 
dagger. Okay, now I want to claim that when I add these two, I get this. Okay, do you see why that's true? When I add these two, why do I get this? Because, because the, what you wrote, the key ingredient. Yeah. Uh, linearity of yeah. Well, actually, actually, uh, I should have been a little more specific. This is so this thing is true wherever wherever the right side is defined, and in particular, it's true at x. So let's put with another pen. So this is true at x now, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's true in general whenever the right side is defined. But since x not is a point where both of these are defined, this is true at x, and that's what I'll call dago. So that's just this general thing at the point x not. And because of this, now each time for every k, when I add up the coefficients here, I get f k x naught plus g k x naught. Then by this equality, I can write as f plus g k of x naught. Okay, so each coefficient, the coefficient of x minus x naught to the k, when I add it, add up here, I get the coefficient here. And therefore, uh, since it matches up coefficient wise, therefore they the, the actually match up. Okay. So the important point is this thing. The derivative of the sum, or the kth derivative of the sum, is the sum of the kth derivatives wherever these right side is defined. And since at x not the right side is defined, that's true, and that's why we get the Taylor series uh, of the sum is the sum of the Taylor series. Okay. Now the proof for scalar multiples is similar, but I won't do it. I mean, there you just have to deal with one function f instead of two, and you have to use that 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 repeated differentiation. You can pull out scalars. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that will be a very similar proof. Uh, in in our, in a future video, we'll see that the Taylor series, the product, is the product of the Taylor series, and that's not very obvious at all. Okay, that that does require some serious work. Okay.